how does SolidWorks reward customer loyalty? What benefit is there to long-time users? That's a very good question. I think there's no program, um, to be honest. There's not a, uh, like almost like the automotive companies have when you buy a second or third car. I, I don't think we have anything like that. I think a lot of the reward, it comes to the community um, and, and the relationships that our customers are building with one another. Um, I, I believe we provide a very valuable tool set for our customers and do drive the product in their input to hopefully make them more productive. And I believe that is a value in the loyalty. And I also think some of the, the, the community learning from user groups, blogging, and things like that are, are trying to facilitate a community that makes them more productive. Uh, but today we don't have a pure customer uh, customer loyalty program. <laughs> okay, that's good. Here's, here's just some throwaway questions that I'm just asking to ask them. Now. Okay. At what point will it become viable or necessary to make a Mac and Linux version? That's a good question, actually. Um, nah, you know when I get asked it all the time. Um, I think we're trying to monitor this a lot. We, we've done some things like e-drawings for the Mac. We've done a, a Linux viewer before. And what we do is we do those tools for two reasons. One, to get data on those machines so people can view and actually see the stuff that people create in SolidWorks. The uh, other reason is to actually track the downloads. And we try to see how many people are requesting to even see SolidWorks data on those platforms and to understand the market need. I think it, as the demand grows more, you could see us beginning to, to change our direction and, and, and uh, potentially go to another platform. But the demand is going to have to increase. The problem is, by supporting another platform, it's another platform to go through a full QA process on. So it's a very expensive for the existing users to go and potentially for the another platform that's going to be a much smaller piece of the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Uh, here's another one that's kind of abstract. Uh, how, how does the difference between modeling and design affect how you develop tools for smaller words. I would hate to be on the other end of this No, question. that's okay. That's, <laughs> and I may not be the best person in the world to answer this, just to be honest, but I'll give you, I'll give you my two cents. I'll give you my shot at it, man. Um, SolidWorks, I think, we're trying to do more to help people design. I think traditionally, every system, we pick them, or, or they're a model, you make a model. I think a little bit of what we're trying to do with some of the things, maybe like DFM Express or uh, some of the Cosmos stuff, draft analysis, some of these tools are more about design. And trying to put things like that that are a little more aware of more than just 3D space, but aware of, of how components fit together and things like that. So we're trying to actually do more about design, but we're never going to replace the skill of the designer, the knowledge of the designer. Maybe we can make their lives easier. That's a, that's a good uh, a good answer for a question like that. <laughs> um, then this will be the last one. In, in what ways do you consider the needs of CAD administration when determining changes in the software? It's becoming more and more of a consideration, actually. Um, so all of us, many of our customers are very small. Uh, just to be honest, I mean, if you, everyone knows how many customers we have, how many seats we have, so it's, anyone can do that. <laughs> um, a lot of them are small, medium businesses using SolidWorks. Um, and it's easier in those environments to probably deploy our you know, single seats, and, and it's not a big deal. But as we get bigger, we get more large customers where that administration becomes a headache and a hassle. So we're trying to do more things like administrative installs we've introduced in the past so people can push out versions, push out service packs in order to ease that pain. Um, we've worked on how our data management systems to make them easier to manage. I, I, one of the things this release that wasn't talked as much about, you know, it also talked about the scalability stuff. The other part of the scalability is helping not just us scale with customers' assemblies, but helping um, uh, the customer scale with us release to release. 
because that is a challenge. You want to make that train that that progress easier. And so I think one of the things not shown today with 2009, but hopefully we've benefited some tools around that. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. Cool. No problem.